I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. You've returned. Well, good, because we are... We have a very good set list, I think, this time for uh, BTS Saturdays. Um, first, we are starting off with Hold Me Tight. That is correct. And, uh, of course, we're right back there with an, uh, Enjoy BTS More. Always fantastic. So let's, uh, let's check this out, shall we? Of course, we want to make sure that we have our subtitles. Just got to make sure we do that. Okay, let's check it out, shall we? I like that. Nice. 
Wow, that was super sick. Yes, and yes, indeed. Um, there's a couple of things that immediately stood out to me that I, I have to point out that I really, really thought was super sick. One thing that I love first and foremost is the fact that this is written in a major, uh, F-sharp major. And the thing that I think is really cool is, about this is that, again, this is something that I find relatively uncommon, I would say. That that is, uh, when you ever hear, hear a song like this, generally you think, oh, well, it's got to be in a minor, right? Well, no. No, not always, you know? And the reason why I think that, that this is something that I find relatively rare, and I think it kind of goes back to more or less how BTS just kind of likes to write their lyrics, is um, even when they write songs that are sad, a lot of times I actually really find that they still write with a very hopeful tone. And I think that's kind of why a lot of times you will see some of their songs like this end up in major mode. And that's cool. That's cool. The next thing that I wanted to bring up was this pot right here. <laughs> this is kind of a good analogy of applying modern um, vocabulary and kind of like experience to a song that I think not a lot of people, maybe, I don't know, I'd like to say that uh, could be easily overlooked, is what I should say. And that's this bar right here. You and I are like our cell phones. We know that if we fall, we'll break. Now, I mean, I think we can all uh, generally overall uh, sympathize and feel that, you know, there will be times where you do something stupid. You drop your phone and... Um, you know, the screen cracks and you're just like, great. I just barely replaced my phone and I have to hold on to it like this for like another 32 months. <laughs> and uh, I think that's a really interesting way of writing. That's kind of like, you know, being aware. The thing that I really like is right after this, we get this way awesome uh, harmonization in kind of like a bass form. And the interesting thing is, I feel like in a lot of senses, this might have been my first time seeing Yoongi kind of doing something in this uh, particular fashion. And I liked it. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of cool to see them, you know, the rap line take a little bit of more vocal and do some other stuff, which we know we, they, they do from time to time. But, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to see still. Right here. That is so cool. And then honestly, they kind of keep it down here in the lower register, which I think is actually super cool as well. Like, even interestingly enough, they really kind of put, kind of have Jin, or not Jin, Jimin, uh, seen in a little bit of a lower tone as well. But you know what? The thing that's really cool is they keep Jimin kind of paired up like that until, of course, you know, we get the, uh, we get his highs, which is amazing right here. <laughs> Hold on, I don't think I quite got to it yet. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna I need to find it. Okay, perfect. Also, on top of it all, one thing I absolutely love here is that we get Sugar doing the low parts and doing his rap. And then it leads right in to the highs, and it is fantastic. Great, great swell self-awareness here. <laughs> Right here.
Oh, great formulation of putting everybody together and kind of opposite ends to complement each other. Really, really cool. Now, I can't go without saying anything. First and foremost, I really like RM's piece. I really like Sugar's piece. But let's let's uh, let's give J Hope here uh, some some absolute absolute mad lad moment. Give him his flowers too. <laughs> This song is really cool. And again, I think the thing that's really cool about this too is just their ability to keep it, everything kind of grounded. The lyrics behind this are so cool, and it's so just, like, deep. But, you know, honestly, I think one thing that's really, really cool about the way BTS writes lyrics is that it's genuinely, a lot of times, very smart. But also, I think the other thing that's really cool about the way that they go about doing it is that they don't make you feel stupid. They don't insult your intelligence and be like, well, you don't understand what we're writing about? No. <laughs> no, they don't do that. And most of the time, and this has actually been something really nice for me. Personally, I actually have been extremely, um, I love it. Um, because a lot of times I'm like, this is kind of how I feel. And some, you know, sometimes my interpretations are wrong, but most of the time people are like, that's okay. Because you know what? That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like open to interpretation. And so, like, for me, I could see a lot of people taking some extremely, like, this would be really, really nice for some people that are going through some hard times to maybe, you know, relate to. And, you know, sometimes we need stuff like this to be able to kind of help work ourselves through things as well. And, of course, you know, that's that's kind of how BTS writes their music, right? It's just to kind of help people through their difficult situations and help themselves help themselves uh really really write something to help themselves get through stuff as well and i think that's kind of more or less why um they are so relatable so much is that that's kind of how they think that's how they put their stuff together so anyway really good song let me know what you all think and we'll discuss this down in the comments below